I have alopecia, which causes hair loss on your head or on your body. I chose not to wear uh, a wig for for a number of reasons. There's this feeling about, about somehow hiding, and I never wanted to feel like I was hiding something. I wanted to deal with um, sort of accepting who you are and looking in the mirror and feeling as though you're, you're beautiful and legitimate. So I think the reason hair is so important is because our self-esteem is wrapped up in it. It, it's like a type of currency for us, even though those, those standards are completely unrealistic and unattainable, especially for black women. Hey guys, it's Noah, long time no see. And as you can tell from the title and hopefully the clip just now, we're gonna be discussing Chris Rock and his hypocrisy. I'm still working my first Genshin video. Life has just been, mm. <laughs> But this topic has been on my mind. I need to rant real quick and give my personal opinion that no one asked for quick recap because it's been a few days the other night comedian chris rock was hosting the oscars and he made a gi jane joke about jada pinkett smith the main reason this joke is an issue is because jada suffers from alopecia an autoimmune disorder that causes her hair to fall out she has been open about her struggles with alopecia which i'll be getting into later and she clearly was not happy with what chris said so her husband will smith the icon the legend the meme <laughs> proceeded to walk on stage and slap the mess out of him we've all seen the clip so no point posting again most of y'all already know whether or not Will's actions were justified has been debated to death, so I'm not going to beat that horse. All I will say is that watching the cultural differences between white folks and black folks has been hilarious. You got white folks adding the LAPD on Twitter so Will can get arrested, and then you got black folks talking about, you know, sometimes you gotta handle nigga business in unnigga places. <laughs> anyway, regardless of whether or not Will Smith was right or wrong, I ultimately believe that Chris Rock is still the main one at fault, because he knows better, like he knows how sensitive a topic black women's hair is. Dude released a whole documentary in 2009 called Good Hair for Pete's Sake, and in that documentary he does a deep dive into the black hair industry. Good Hair is available on YouTube for free, and I'll link it in the description so y'all can watch it and get a better understanding as to what's being discussed. The documentary is a bit outdated, and I have several, <laughs> several issues with it, but overall it's a pretty informative watch. That said, in Good Hair, Chris talks to numerous black celebrities, public figures, and just regular people like you and me about the culture surrounding black hair. He shows us the dangers of relaxers, the multi-billions we as a collective spend on wigs and weeds every year, and how profitable black women not want to deal with their hair is. Our hair has been policed, scrutinized, and politicized for centuries, bro, and that's evolved into black folks' arguable obsession with our hair. More specifically, good, presentable hair, quote-unquote. We're taught from a young age that our beauty, self-worth, and confidence is directly tied to what's on top of our heads. To a lot of black women, myself included, hair is important to us, or at the very least, a sensitive topic. Chris Rock knows all of this. This is shown throughout the documentary. Yet and still, he decided it was appropriate to clown Jada. You don't talk about her hair, bro. Like, that is not, nor has it ever been appropriate. Especially when someone has an autoimmune disorder. Like, come on. I'm not even going to touch on the fact that he did this in front of a majority white audience because that's a whole other video in itself. But girl, the layers. The layers of disrespect. As I said earlier, Jada's been open about her struggles with alopecia, despite admitting it's a difficult subject. She talked about how terrifying it was to lose her hair to the point she was shaking in fear. In a 2018 episode of the Red Table Talk, Jada stated, My hair has been a big part of me. Taking care of my hair has been a beautiful ritual. And having the choice to have hair or not, and then one day to be like, Oh my god, I might not have that choice. Keep in mind that at one point, Jada had a head full of hair, something that's praised and softer within the black community. Unfortunately, so many black women spend their entire lives trying to achieve this. So to suddenly lose the thing you've been taught to cherish, the thing you've been conditioned to believe is your source of beauty, that cannot be easy. And you would think the man who went out of his way to include Sheila in his documentary and end it said documentary on this note. So what do I tell my daughters? I tell them that the stuff on top of their heads is nowhere near as important as the stuff inside their heads. Well, think twice about making a G.I. Jane joke about a black woman with alopecia. And let's take Jane's alopecia out of the equation. Chris, you grew up in a black household. You have black daughters, one of which literally asked you why she doesn't have good hair. Why was it in your spirit to contribute to the same problem you were trying to combat 13 years ago? You want black folks to know what's on top of their head isn't as important? Maybe don't clown it on live television. And obviously, Jada's freaking gorgeous with her foul hair. She says her and Alpecia are friends. She's proud to be bald. She says she's free. Sis is okay. But this whole situation should have never happened. It, it really be your own people. In conclusion, Chris Rock is a hypocrite. I do not feel bad that he got popped in the mouth. I hope this teaches him to leave our hair alone and to keep my wife's name out your mouth.
I'm going to. But hey, that's just my personal opinion that no one asked for. So yeah, bye.